Well, you guys know I can't ever stay away from the track for too long. So I'm back here again with uh, my buddy Jim's car. He needed somebody to help him dial in the suspension stuff, film from the side. So basically I'm just a glorified tripod for the day. But look at this thing. He did everything on it and it is so freaking clean. This thing makes like 1800, 2500 horsepower-ish, something like that. Seven second car. And I have to run him this weekend potentially. Sick, so I'm helping my competition here. But look at how nice this car is. Really makes me want to do a Coyote. Not a Mustang, but a Coyote. This car is so sick. All right, so we're gonna get some starting line footage for him. See what his suspension does. He did a couple bar changes and he's adding a little more power to it. See what she does out the hole. The DA is significantly better than when I raced the other day. I'm a little, uh, a little upset about that, honestly. A little jealous, but. It is a cold morning out here in Florida. Oh man, just uh, grabbing one of my bottles from the Camaro, really, and putting it in the truck, along with one of the other bottles that needs to be filled. I got two that need to be filled up today. Guys, when I say cold morning, it was like 38, 40 degrees this morning, which for Florida is cold. And I mean, I grew up in New York, so I do understand, but Florida cold is different than the New York cold, I'll tell you that. Well, you guys know the deal at SNS Motorsports of Sarasota. Got two nitrous bottles filled up. They're cold enough to be able to do it on the spot, so that was awesome. Didn't have to wait around like normal for them to cool down. It's so cold today. But hell yeah, guys, filled up, ready for this weekend. I'm gonna go test the bump box and the trans brake because they've been acting a little funny mainly just the bump box so i'm gonna go test that out see if we can uh get that to be a little more cooperative because it's been a little weird lately definitely need that for heads up racing all right i'll see you guys at the house when i'm on the trans brake my neighbors are gonna love it should have bumped in so pull the dashboard out and check over all the wiring see if that's one of our issues very odd definitely need to get that figured out before this weekend or else we are not ready to race all right so we've gotten pretty far with the uh bump box after i talked to tuner and the guys over at induction we kind of came to the uh realization well i finally understood what they've been telling me that it needed a uh, transmission temp sensor that's why it's been so finicky this whole time because sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't because the software doesn't allow it to work without a trans temp sensor so basically he was able to trick the software a little bit but that only worked kind of sometimes better on that only really works sometimes so the real permanent fix that we need to do is put a uh, transmission temp sensor on it and then retune it so I am loading the car up and bringing it up to induction All right, well, I just dropped off the Camaro with induction performance. They are going to uh, look over the tune a little bit and see if we can get the bump box thing figured out. It 
is that door to door service. Alva's gonna back it right on the trailer for me. Oh. tough brake. I just um, was coming back from induction performance. We've been screwing my trans brake button and stuff and bump box and check it out. I'm on the side of the road here and look at that flat tire. I can see where the air is coming out of over here. Well, trying to uh, take these off on the side of the road here, just bent it. So those are on way tighter than I can get them off with this guy. Of course, the one time I don't have my impact with me. Oh man, so I need to put the spare on, but I don't have an impact that I'll get this off. And this guy just bent. Be cool if one of those road rangers showed up. All right, I got the spare. Now it's time to try to get that tire off. I thankfully have people close by and I think one of them is coming with an impact because this guy is just bending. Useless. So I'll get it jacked up and then we can get that off. Either a breaker bar or an impact, something stronger than that. Well, so I came with the right tools that I needed. Thank goodness, because I would have been sitting here till like a road ranger or something showed up. Dude, at least it only happened 10 minutes in the shop too. Yeah, and if it happened on the Skyway, yeah. RIP. Yeah. I might as well just driven off. But, Got the spare on, and we are back on the road. Off to freaking the race. Dude, thank you so much. Guys, we are on the road. Heck yeah. Huge thanks to Ty for coming, because the stuff I had didn't work, of course. Like, who would have thought that that would have just broke? Yeah, tough break, so. Get the new tires put on this week, hopefully, and get the truck riding right again. Out here on the spare. Ugh. No, I'm just kidding, it's fine. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh, <clears throat> guys, like my grandma used to always say, it's always something. And it is has rang true for my entire life. It is literally always something. Like, just when you think everything's going right, there's something. How it works, you know? Guys, made it to the racetrack. Freaking, it's been a day. It's been a day. Day is nowhere near over yet. It kind of feels like it just started. But out here, parked up in our nice little tight spot with my buddy Jared with his uh, badass red Supra. Things been 780s, fully induction built, turbo 400. Same size turbo as me, 3.4 stroker. A little bit more power, good amount more sauce. And then we got, you guys know the deal, the Camaro with the 2J. I don't need to introduce it. You guys already know what's going on here. Look at these two together. Somehow they just look right. His setup's just a lot nicer because, you know, mine's a little more redneck. His is like a nice clean Supra race, race car build. He's got a dry sump on here, badass setup. You guys know it's it's badass. Over right, here we got simple, kinda, <laughs> but a lot of the same parts. And we'll be running in the streetcar shootout class together. And I'm really excited to see how this car does because they're gonna keep hitting it with more power. Try to keep the nose down, it's trying to wheelie. We're gonna try to hit this with more power maybe. I don't know. That's up to Alpha. Hopefully we hit it with some more power. But I need to stop talking and I need to uh, get my tech card filled out and go tech in so that we can go racing. Lights off. 
unlock. It's on. What do you got going on here? Science. <laughs> science. These guys know how I like my science. Well, as you can see here, I used to purge my nitrous onto the ground. Mm -hmm. Big waste. So I am rerouting my purge to be in front of the car. Kind of like it's gonna come like right over the hood. Uh-huh. Like go straight out like that. Oh, I thought you were putting it out there. I didn't have enough line. Oh, okay. So this I had <laughs> all this stuff. Shoot out the front? I had all this stuff sitting on the uh, shelf at home. Okay. So I didn't buy anything to do this. I just I'm trying something. There's some parts I had lying around. But, but I thought the whole point was to purge it into the inside. That's, it's gonna do the same thing, but think about it going straight like this at 120 oh, miles an hour. Oh, then it'll suck back in. Yeah. Science. Science. <laughs> so, I'm drilling a couple holes here to make sure that this thing's good and tight. I know. Modifying. I know. Modifying. Always last minute. Nothing some zip ties, zip ties can't do. No, they do everything. You love zip ties. They're pretty great. Oh, oh. <laughs> see that. That zip tie here. Yeah. <laughs> Sticking out right there. It's pinned pretty good. Should we test yeah. it? Yeah, try it out. Give it a try. All right. Yeah, that probably did just for to get wet again. Try the new purge. Oh, can you come move mine then too? Yeah. Off like the tire? It's pretty great. <laughs> mine. Whoa! Oh, I like it. Wait, do it again. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Well, we've never had to purge mine down last night, and last night I had to purge it like 200 pounds, and I didn't know it comes out on the freaking yeah, right, right on, on the, the tire. tire. I, I saw like, that oh, the other day. Great. Cooper, you better get to work on his so now. So my concept behind this is to try to get it to go in the intake if I need it going down track. I like it. So it's basically uh -oh. a scramble button. <laughs> so you're hoping it'll like spray on and shoot right in there? Yeah. Well, I mean, imagine a hundred mile an hour air. Yeah, it's and not. And the turbo I mean, but that's sucking seemed... in at 50 pounds of boost. I thought I had Nana on me. That seemed pretty like strong though that it shoots out. But Alpha didn't want me to go too close. Yeah. He... This is kind of new territory for all of us. Trying something new. <laughs> yeah, it came from my mind that maybe this will work. It's like a second kit of nitrous. This yeah. could be a huge idea. Could be pretty good. Could be I nice. might just spray mine right back into the engine. Exactly. <laughs> you might as well. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for today's video. A lot of stuff happened in this video. I tried to get one up earlier in the week, but just the stars did not align. We got a long weekend of racing gonna be a lot of fun definitely tune in to monday's video because i'm sure something cool will happen so thanks for watching guys keep it saucy i'll see you next time